Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel All About BI. This session is going to be a simple session on how to get a metadata of a file and store those details in another file in a storage account in Azure Data Factory. Okay, that's what we are going to see. So for that, what I'll be using is test.csv. This is the file that I'm going to refer to and I'm going to get the structure of this file, uh, size of this file, name of this file and column count of this file. And I'm going to store these details in a uh, text file in container okay this is what i'm going to do how to do that using get metadata activity and copy activity that's what i'm going to tell you in this video so as you can see here i have already executed the uh, this pipeline um, so what we will be doing is we will be uh, using a data set in that data set we are pointing to this container and this folder and we have parameterized the file name part okay so from the pipeline uh, in the get metadata activity settings i'm going to pass the file name that i showed you and then we have to add the field list which we want to capture in our file okay i will say uh, structure of the file sometimes structure is not visible when you uh, expand this but it will be at the last so i need structure of the file and then i need size of the file and then probably column count so these are the details that i'm i am interested to capture in my pipeline um, to store it in a file right so these are the values that I'm, I want so while I execute this uh, uh, activity we will be getting these details in a JSON format okay so let it run and we would be needing a copy data activity uh, to capture these details and write it to a file in a container okay so let us give a couple of seconds to it so that it completes and in the copy data activity what we are going to do we are going to point to a dummy source file because uh, our source is nothing but it is the output of the get metadata activity so ultimately we are not going to refer to any particular uh, feed file or source file uh, because we are not going to read contents of it we just need the metadata of another file so we are going to point source to a dummy file that i have in my container i'll show you that dummy file as well so this is my dummy file that i'm going to point from my copy data source it doesn't have much details it just has one column and one value okay same way you can create a dummy file and then point it from the copy data activity so i will just use the same data set that i used in metadata activity and then pass dummy.txt here okay so coming back to the results we will be looking at the size and bytes the structure and then column count this is what we were interested to know right so we have to write all these things in a file so how to do that ultimately this is going the output of get metadata activity is going to be the source for the copy activity uh, from the source we have already pointed to a dummy file and we have to keep on adding additional columns we need three columns one for uh, structure of the file another for size of the file and the third for column count. okay and here we need to add dynamic content and the structure the structure is an array okay so we need to convert it into string to write it to a additional column so i'm saying okay and then size is another property that we want and then column count this is also something that we can get from the property itself so i'm doing this and then sync sync is going to be um, another file that we can create so um, meta output dot text let this be the sync file name and in that we just have to see the uh, connection detail so there is no code character no escape character we want the column name in the first row okay so let it be like this coming back to the sync so here uh, sync we have pointed or we have selected the name of the file and then in the mapping tab we need to import the schemas okay um, this is to ignore uh, the column that is there in the dummy file in our dummy file we just have one column right dummy this doesn't need to come in our sync uh, this doesn't need to be written to a file okay so we have to ignore this column that's why we have to import the schemas and while importing i had an issue here in in this window like uh, it will not um, be showing the value default value uh, by itself okay so once i click on type 
and press a tab we will get to see this value previously what happened was this particular column was not uh, visible for me and i kept uh, getting an error mm, like i cannot import schema without passing a default value like that it was throwing error uh, it needed a default value for the parameter okay but where is the parameter field i was not able to see it so what i did i just clicked on uh, the type column and pressed the tab so that i was able to see this value column wherein i just populated single quote so once i do that i was seeing this okay button and i said okay now it will import the column names from the source file as well as the additional columns so second third and fourth these are the additional columns that we added in source and dummy column this is coming from the source file so i am just removing this and we are good to go so now i will run the pipeline this is a very simple use case but uh, we just have to tweak the dummy source um, file to a bit and that's it so let us uh, wait for some time pipeline has executed now let me go to the storage container and then look at the meta output file okay so here if you see um, structure size and column count this is the column name that I, we wanted to uh, capture and then as you can see the first column is an array and second column uh, is the size in bytes and third column is the column count so this is how we capture the metadata of a file and write it to another file in the storage container or storage account okay mm, if you have questions you can let me know in the comment section hope this is useful uh, thanks a lot for watching keep supporting